Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. I think it's done. Well, I guess that finishes up our uh, cooking portion of our salute to a man's Thanksgiving. And a point to ponder, when you base a turkey in cognac, you want to keep the bird away from an open flame. Otherwise, your butterball will become a fireball. Pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now it's time to look at some of the things we men should be thankful for during this season. And this, of course, men would be number one. Women. There are mothers, our co-workers, our family members, our sisters. We, they deserve a lot of appreciation. Wow, thank you, Tim. You're welcome. I now get lost. It's a man's segment. <laughs> okay, Al. Um, well, you're sort of a man. What are you thankful for? Well, Tim, I'm thankful for the tool I carry with me always. Whoa, 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 whoa. Al, Al, it's a family show. I'm talking about my Swiss Army knife. I would feel naked without it. Ugh. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the gizmos and gadgets and thingamajigs that make a man's life worthwhile. Well, I hear you, brother. How many times have you found yourself at the beach or maybe a tailgate party and you're longing for a zesty, blended beverage? Not a problem anymore with this model of American ingenuity. All it takes is one rip. This next gadget is on the top of my list is all-time favorites. That's right. Now, you may be thinking I'm wearing usual coveralls, but you're wrong. I'm sporting the practical and very fashionable vacuum suit. That's right from the Bitford Winter Collection. You've got to say Trey Chic when you look at Al right now. The point of this thing is, is why lug around a heavy vacuum cleaner? We can just add the vacuum to the man. That's right. Just add a hose to Al? Mm -hmm. yeah, not there, Tim. It's got a built-in compressor and motor. Just flip them on and watch Al suck. Uh, Tim, Tim, I, I think we have a problem. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yes. Turn it off. Thanksgiving. Well, we're going to leave just as soon as I finish making my feng shui home protection tool. Does that work? Well, Jill, the horizontal flute is the guardian of hopes and desires, and the two angle flutes radiate peace throughout the house and the universe. What do the red tassels do? They scare away squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the holiday plans for the Taylors this year? Well, my mom is going to be with my sister in Texas, and Tim's mom's going to be with his brother Jeff. So it's just the five of us. I thought maybe I'd get up early and try out some new recipes. Why new recipes? Well, everybody hates my cooking so much, I thought I might as well make it interesting for me. <laughs> oh, hi. How's it going, Jill? Hey, Willow. Okay. Oh, that's a great-looking turkey. Mm. Actually, it's 100% soybean. It's called a soiki. <laughs> <laughs> I am so looking forward to Thanksgiving. You know, it's the first time in years that the whole Wilson clan has all been together. Uncle Wilbur. Aunt Wilhelmina. Cousin Wilford. Uncle Willard. Grandma Wilma. And Bob. Bob? He's the black sheep. Ah, uh, well, every family has to have a troublemaker. No, no, no. Bob is a very nice sheep. He just gets cranky at shearing time. <laughs> hey, Bradley. Got great news. You pumped so much air into Al, he's bigger than his mom. No, that would be quite impossible. <laughs> well, get this. Clay Ford, the owner of the Lions, is a big tool tanker. He's offered us the use of a luxury box for the Thanksgiving game. Our own private box? That is so cool. Yeah, there's just one annoying detail. And there she is. <laughs> Hi. Hi, what do you think about a soy turkey this year? Hey, I'm up for anything. 
You know what I believe? That no matter what you eat or where you eat it, Thanksgiving is great as long as we're all together. We are not going to spend Thanksgiving Day at a car show. No, no, no. Don't be ridiculous. Now, listen. We've been offered a luxury box at the Silver Dome. We can enjoy an incredible Thanksgiving dinner in the privacy of our own room. So you're saying that you'd rather spend the day in a football stadium being served Thanksgiving meal by total strangers? Hot damn, I'm sleeping in. <laughs> Check out the view. Wow, this is really beautiful. Yeah, if you like disgusting opulence. And I do. I <laughs> don't believe it. There is a TV in the bathroom. That's so you won't miss a minute of the excitement. Or in your case, 45 minutes. <laughs> Hello, Taylor family. Welcome to Box 12. I'm Ted, your personal Silver Dome liaison, and I've got hats. Oh, thank you. I'm Jill Taylor. What? And uh, that's Randy, Mark, and Brad, and my husband, Tim Taylor. Hey, it's the tool man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good to meet you, Ted. Um... You look awful familiar. Have, have we met before? No, uh, perhaps you've met one of my brothers, Ned or Fred. Wait a minute. One brother works at the airport in Alpena, and the other brother in a gas station in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I've met him. Yes. Uh, I hope they didn't give you any trouble. They've always been pretty ornery. One time they held me down and packed my nose with candy corn. Kids can be so cruel. Well, this was last Christmas. <laughs> By the way, Tim, I've been authorized to give you a tour of the Silver Dome's nerve center, home of our state-of-the-art electrical and plumbing system. Somebody pinch me! <laughs> you can watch the game on the monitors down there, and I'll have you back at halftime for dinner with your family. All right. Thank you, Ted. I'll be up to get you in a little while. All right. Thank you. Did you look at all this food? I mean, do you know how many needy families we could have fed on Thanksgiving? Ooh, crap puffs. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I ran into Harry Belafonte at the VIP elevator. What a chatterbox! Um, I'm sorry, you, you would be? Irv Schmeyman, major television producer. And you are? Tim Taylor, major television star. Taylor? Yeah. Never heard of you. Well, Mr. Schmeyman, maybe you have the wrong booth. Box 12. The Lions front office set me up. Tim, didn't you say that this booth was just going to be for our family? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, we are all in the entertainment family, all part of the business I like to call show. <laughs> well, Herb, this is my wife, Jill, and these are my boys, Randy, Brad, and Mark. Herb Smayman, Hollywood legend. <laughs> Here's my card. Pass it around, kid. Oh, so much for our family Thanksgiving. Honey, it's just one Schmayman. <laughs> Girls! These are my personal assistants, Jenny and Cindy. They're going to be joining us for Thanksgiving. Now I've got something to be thankful for. All right, Lions won! The game has started. No, they won the coin toss. <laughs> now the holiday season always reminds me of my Helen Reddy special. Ready or not, it's Christmas. <laughs> it was a ratings volcano. You guys should watch the game or chat. Whoa, relax. Tempsky, I got friends at the network. I'll get you a tape. Excuse me. Mr. Taylor, you ready to explore the bowels of the Silver Dome? Let me loose. Tim, can I speak to you for a moment? He'll be right there. <clears throat> you cannot leave us alone with the Schneeman. Jill, Jill, Jill. Thanksgiving is about compassion. It's about reaching out to others. It's about being there for other people. Go. These are the Transformers and all the Breakers. I love spending time down here. Who wouldn't? This place is so homey. <laughs> if you like this place, wait till you see our control room. That's where we operate all of the Silver Dome's lights and our 2,000 toilets. Wait a minute. 2,000 toilets? Is there a button you can press to flush them all at once? <laughs> No, but I'll bring it up at the next board meeting. You're a thinker. I like that. So finally, 
I told the network, look, hey, you got a great idea, but the show needs a twist. You want funny? Make the nun fly. <laughs> and if Father doesn't get back soon, I'm going to have to kill him. Dad or Schmeyman. <laughs> Whoever's closest. <laughs> I've been so blessed. I have this superhuman feel for what's funny. Pants are funny. Pork is funny. Fish are funny. I think I made vomit. Vomit. Big funny. <laughs> Ted, I can't thank you enough. If I can put a smile on the tool man's face, my dream has come true. <laughs> you really mean that? No, I'm just being a good host. <laughs> Before you go back to your family, I have one more surprise for you. I think my heart can take it. Let me guess. An autographed copy of the building permit. Hey, I'm a liaison. I'm not God. <laughs> Smile, tool man. You're on Jumbo Vision. No, no. The big screen? Yeah. This is... <laughs> that is one beautiful turkey. <laughs> you know, I pitched a series to CBS about a talking turkey. They told me to stuff it. <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? This is a nightmare. <sighs> look. Dad's on Jumbo Vision. Oh, look at that. The contrast of these monitors is bad. Let me work on this. No, thing. no, no, Tim, don't touch anything. Wait a minute. I'm in the business, Ted. I know how to work these things. This is specially made for the silver dome. Oh, my God. Oh. That just ran Thanksgiving for 80,000 people. I'm going to grab a yam. It's not a yam, Irv. Take to fix this. You better hope it's fast, buddy, because every person in the stadium saw what you did. Some of them were probably in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, those guys will be real happy. Hey, tell you what, let the tool man get in there. I work great under pressure. Uh, oh, no, no, you don't. Sit down and don't touch anything. You know, the more I think about it, your toilet flushing button idea stunk. <laughs> No, I think I understand why your brother shoved candy corn up your nose. Boy, this takes me back. January 1994. The earthquake hit and wiped out the power while Tina Turner was staying in my guest house. So, let me guess. You went next door and borrowed a flashlight from David Bowie. You know, Jilzy, we Schmaymans are pretty perceptive people, and I am picking up a hint of sarcasm on my Schmader. Hey, Schmaymans. Hey, Rodney. I had a hard time finding you, you know. After they saw my face, they turned off all the lights. <laughs> Rodney started my Christmas special. I don't get no respect. On ice. Oh, I tell you, it was cold. It was so cold, it was colder than my wife's handshake on our honeymoon. <laughs> Hello. How do you do, baby? How are you? I'm Jill Taylor. Good, Can you good. believe it's Rodney Danger? Yeah. What are you doing in Detroit? I'm looking for plugs and points. Oh. <laughs> I was the Grand Marshal at the Great American Parade. I tell you, they made me the Grand Marshal. I mean, how great can America be, you know? <laughs> Mom, who's Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> Honey, he's a famous comic. He's hilarious. Hey, what's with the black outfit? I mean, devil worshippers are in box 666. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. <laughs> Thanks, Shorty. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I was short myself. I was so short, I had to blow my nose through my fly. <laughs> Are you this funny at home? Uh, not since my wife's mother moved in. <laughs> what a barracuda. <laughs> well, 
my husband is going to be so sorry that he missed you. Would you consider staying and having Thanksgiving dinner with us? Oh, that's very kind of you. I'd love to, you know. Because when I was a kid, I had it rough. I mean, we were poor. How poor were you? <laughs> How poor? In Thanksgiving, my old man showed us a picture of a turkey. I sat there all day trying to lick the gravy, you know? <laughs> Bad news. If we don't get the lights fixed in 15 minutes, the game is canceled. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I believe one time I saved some time by wiring around the circuit breaker. Couldn't that cause the transformer to blow up? If memory serves, yes. <laughs> Why don't you go back to your family? I'm not going to walk across the Silver Dome in a pitch black. There might be some people out there that want my blood. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Wow, look at all these people. You know, this is turning into one heck of a party. What can I say? In the face of tragedy, I host. <laughs> Mr. Dangerfield, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but um, you seem to have some self-esteem issues. Oh, you can say that again. And when I was born, the doctor smacked my mother. <laughs> hey, Rodney, remember our special? You were doing your act, and Aretha Franklin skated out onto the ice? Yeah, and she sang that song to me all about respect. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I taught that song to you guys, you know, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. But that's enough soccer to me, okay? Reminds me of my neighborhood. In my neighborhood is tough, are you kidding? There was a kid in school, they said, and what comes after a sentence? He said, you make an appeal. How did this happen? I, I just wanted to have a nice Thanksgiving dinner with my family, and look what happened. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, wait, do that again. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, hit the console. What are we worried about? <laughs> so long, Charo. Coochie, coochie. <laughs> hey, the lights are back on. Yeah, the players are headed back onto the field. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got a massage at my hotel in 10 minutes. Taylor family, can I be frank? This has been the most moving, enjoyable holiday I have ever had. And that includes Passover with the Tony Curtises. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank mm. you. Goodbye. God bless you. I mean it. Stay all well, all right? Okay. Thanks. Oh, can you believe that this actually happened? Oh, yes, that was unbelievable. You know, Jenny told me to call her when I'm 21. <laughs> And Herb wants first look at my next screenplay. And I'm reconsidering my distaste for conspicuous consumption. <laughs> oh, dibs on the last truffle. Hey, I'm sorry I wrecked your Thanksgiving, okay? No, are you kidding? It was great. It was the best Thanksgiving ever. We got to hang out with Rodney Dangerfield. <clears throat> it was wild. It was uh, like my neighborhood. You know, my neighborhood was so wild. And the kids played hopscotch. They used real scotch. <laughs> You know, trying to cheer me up is getting kind of pathetic here, family, okay? Hey, Jill, I forgot to give you my phone number in L.A., you know? If you get to L.A., with the, bring your whole family, we'll have a barbecue, okay? Thanks, Rodney. And you'll meet my doctor, Dr. Vinny Bumbach, you know? <laughs> in fact, I saw him last week. I asked him if my heart was strong enough for sex. He told me not if I join in. Who is it? Rodney Dangerfield. I'm Tim Taylor. I'm her husband. Good to meet you. Yeah. You ought a knucklehead who screwed up the lights, huh? If you get to L.A., just bring the kids, okay? <laughs> you take it easy. I hope I run into you when I'm driving. <laughs> And welcome back to Tool Time. Today we're going to be restoring antique picture frames. Because under an ugly exterior, sometimes you can find a true beauty. <laughs> That's not the case. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, well, you know, and to help us out today, we have a very special guest. The Grand Marshal of the Great American Parade. Doesn't like me too much, but evidently likes Tool Time a lot. That's why he's here. Let's give a warm welcome, can you believe it, to Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Buy the rest of that dress, will you? Who <laughs> well, could she break up a happy home? <laughs> it's great to have you on the show, Mr. Dangerfield. Pleasure to be here, okay? What are we working on today, boys? Well, we're going to refinish this frame for a husky picture that Al's got. Now, speaking of husky, I understand you were kind of a husky kid. How husky were you? 
Now, I'm not here to do jokes. I'm here to help out with a project. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of projects, I hear that you were pretty poor living the project. How poor were you? None of your business. <laughs> hey, what kind of wood are we using in this frame, huh? Well, we'll be using distressed maple. Hey, wait a minute, just speaking of distressed, I understand your wife is kind of annoying. How annoying is she, Rodney? Not as annoying as you. <laughs> How do you work with this guy, huh? It's tough. I gotta tell you, I don't get any respect. <laughs> You're talking to the original. I don't get no respect at all. When I got no sex life, my wife cut me down in once a month. Oh, I'm lucky. Two guys I know she cut out completely. Thank you. I think it's done. Well, I guess that finishes up our uh, cooking portion of our salute to a man's Thanksgiving. And a point to ponder, when you baste the turkey in cognac, you want to keep the bird away from an open flame. Otherwise, your butterball will become a fireball. Pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now it's time to look at some of the things we men should be thankful for during this season. And this, of course, men would be number one. Women. There are mothers, our co-workers, our family members, our sisters. We, they deserve a lot of appreciation. Wow, thank you, Tim. You're welcome. I now get lost. It's a man segment. <laughs> okay, Al. Um, well, you're sort of a man. What are you thankful for? Well, Tim, I'm thankful for the tool I carry with me always. Whoa, 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 whoa. Al, Al, it's a family show. I'm talking about my Swiss Army knife. I would feel naked without it. Ugh. No, I'm talking about the gizmos and gadgets and thingamajigs that make a man's life worthwhile. Well, I hear you, brother. How many times have you found yourself at the beach or maybe a tailgate party and you're longing for a zesty, blended beverage? Not a problem anymore with this model of American ingenuity. All it takes is one rip. This next gadget is on the top of my list is all-time favorites. That's right. Now, you may be thinking I'm wearing usual coveralls, but you're wrong. I'm sporting the practical and very fashionable vacuum suit. That's right from the Bedford Winter Collection. You've got to say Trey Chic when you look at Al right now. The point of this thing is, is why lug around a heavy vacuum cleaner? We can just add the vacuum to the man. That's right. Just add a hose to Al? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not there, Tim. Got a built-in compressor and motor. Just flip them on and watch Al suck. Uh, Tim, Tim, I, I think we have a problem. Turn it off. Turn it off, Tim. Turn it off. Turn it Thanksgiving. Well, we're going to leave just as soon as I finish making my feng shui home protection tool. How does that work? Well, Jill, the horizontal flute is the guardian of hopes and desires, and the two angle flutes radiate peace throughout the house and the universe. What do the red tassels do? They scare away squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the holiday plans for the Taylors this year? Well, my mom is going to be with my sister in Texas, and Tim's mom is going to be with his brother Jeff. So it's just the five of us. I thought maybe I'd get up early and try out some new recipes. Why new recipes? Well, everybody hates my cooking so much, I thought I might as well make it interesting for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. How's it going, Jill? Hey, Willow. <laughs> oh, that's a great-looking turkey. Mm. Actually, it's 100% soybean. It's called a soiky. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am so looking forward to Thanksgiving. You know, it's the first time in years that the whole Wilson clan has all been together. Uncle Wilbur. Aunt Wilhelmina. Cousin Wilford. Uncle Willard. Grandma Wilma. And Bob. Bob? He's the black sheep. Ah, uh, well, every family has to have a troublemaker. No, no, no. Bob is a very nice sheep. He just gets cranky at shearing time. <laughs> Hey, Bradley. Got great news. You pumped so much air into Allie's bigger than his mom. No, that would be quite impossible. <laughs> well, get this. Clay Ford, the owner of the Lions, is a big tool tycoon. He's offered us the use of a luxury box for the Thanksgiving game. Our own private box? That is so cool. Yeah, there's just one annoying detail. And there she is. Hi. Hi. What do you think about a soy turkey this year? Hey, I'm up for anything. You know what I believe? That no matter what you eat or where you eat it, Thanksgiving is great as long as we're all together. We are not going to spend Thanksgiving Day at a car show. No, no, no. Don't be ridiculous. Now listen, we've been offered a luxury box at the Silver Dome. We could enjoy an incredible Thanksgiving dinner in the privacy of our own room. So you're saying that you'd rather spend the day in a football stadium being served a Thanksgiving meal by total strangers? Hot damn, I'm sleeping in. <laughs> Check out the view. Oh, this is really beautiful. Yeah, if you like disgusting opulence. And I do. I don't believe it. There is a TV in the bathroom. That's so you won't miss a minute of the excitement. Or right, in your case, 45 minutes. <laughs> Hello, Taylor family. Welcome to Box 12. I'm Ted, your personal Silver Dome liaison, and I've got hats. Oh, thank you. I'm Jill Taylor. What? And uh, that's Randy, Mark, and Brad, and my husband. Oh, man. All right. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. I think it's done. Well... <laughs> I guess that finishes up our uh, cooking portion of our salute to a man's Thanksgiving. And a point to ponder, when you baste the turkey in cognac, you want to keep the bird away from an open flame. Otherwise, your butterball will become a fireball. Pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now it's time to look at some of the things we men should be thankful for during this season. And this, of course, men would be number one. Women. There are mothers, our co-workers, our family members, our sisters. We, they deserve a lot of appreciation. Wow, thank you, Tim. You're welcome. Right now, get lost. It's a man's segment. <laughs> okay, Al. Um, well, you're sort of a man. What are you thankful for? <laughs> well, Tim, I'm thankful for the tool I carry with me always. Whoa, 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 whoa. Al, Al, it's a family show. I'm talking about my Swiss Army knife. I would feel naked without it. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> No, I'm talking about the gizmos and gadgets and thingamajigs that make a man's life worthwhile. Well, I hear you, brother. How many times have you found yourself at the beach or maybe a tailgate party and you're longing for a zesty, blended beverage? Not a problem anymore with this model of American ingenuity. All it takes is one rip. This next gadget is on the top of my list is all-time favorites. That's right. Now, you may be thinking I'm wearing usual coveralls, but you're wrong. I'm sporting the practical and very fashionable vacuum suit. That's right from the Bitford Winter Collection. You've got to say Trey Chic when you look at Al right now. The point of this thing is, is why lug around a heavy vacuum cleaner? We can just add the vacuum to the man. That's right. Just add a hose to Al? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not there, Tim. Got a built-in compressor and motor. Just flip them on and watch Al suck. Uh, Tim, Tim, I, I think we have a problem. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it
I thought that you and Willow were going to go to Ann Arbor for Thanksgiving. Well, we're going to leave just as soon as I finish making my Feng Shui home protection tool. How does that work? Well, Jill, the horizontal flute is the guardian of hopes and desires, and the two angle flutes radiate peace throughout the house and the universe. What do the red tassels do? They scare away squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the holiday plans for the Taylors this year? Well, my mom is going to be with my sister in Texas, and Tim's mom's going to be with his brother Jeff. So it's just the five of us. I thought maybe I'd get up early and try out some new recipes. Why new recipes? Well, everybody hates my cooking so much, I thought I might as well make it interesting for me. <laughs> How's it going, Jill? Hey, Willow. Oh, that's a great-looking turkey. Actually, it's 100% soybean. It's called a soiki. <laughs> I am so looking forward to Thanksgiving. You know, it's the first time in years that the whole Wilson clan has all been together. Uncle Wilbur. Aunt Wilhelmina. Cousin Wilford. Uncle Willard. Grandma Wilma. And Bob. Bob? He's the black sheep. Ah, uh, well, every family has to have a troublemaker. No, no, no. Bob is a very nice sheep. He just gets cranky at shearing time. <laughs> hey, Bradley. Got great news. You pumped so much air into Allie's bigger than his mom. No, that would be quite impossible. <laughs> well, get this. Clay Ford, the owner of the Lions, is a big tool time fan. He's offered us the use of a luxury box for the Thanksgiving game. Our own private box? That is so cool. Yeah, there's just one annoying detail. And there she is. Hi. Hi, what do you think about a soy turkey this year? Hey, I'm up for anything. Oh. You know what I believe? That no matter what you eat or where you eat it, Thanksgiving is great as long as we're all together. We are not going to spend Thanksgiving Day at a car show. No, 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 don't be ridiculous. Now listen, we've been offered a luxury box at the Silver Dome. We can enjoy an incredible Thanksgiving dinner in the privacy of our own room. So you're saying that you'd rather spend...